horses. What beauties? Indeed, they're lovely horses. Of course, his lordship keeps horses from Nord, and he's offered them to you after considering the incident from earlier. That's very kind of him. Thank you, LaSalston. I've never seen a horse uh, so up close before. They're so majestic. Are you okay with strangers riding them, though? They look well trained enough that I doubt it'll be a problem. Yeah, they're both excellent horses. I'll take this one. So, are you comfortable taking the lead with the other one, Kurt? That's fine. Oh, come on, I want to do it. I'm sure you do, but that's a lot to ask of a beginner. Sit behind me and I'll show you what to do. Behind you? Um, I don't know if I'm cool with that. Well, it doesn't matter with me. You'll just be riding with the instructor instead of me. Never mind, I'll ride with you. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Uh huh. Alright, no time to look at the present. Hup, there we go. These are fine horses indeed. Oh, you can get a nice view on one of these guys. Interesting, so this is how you sit on one. We should be able to reach Parn by noon. True, but we're better off heading to that fuel exercise camp first. We need to report our current status of our special ops missions, among other things. Understood. We'll make great time so we can always head back to the city if there's anything more we need to do. Well, until your next return, take care. And do let us know if there's anything more we can provide. Thank you. Yeah, run, moving with this gets it becomes a little bit weirder. Oh, it's actually similar to like regular movement. No, I guess I was thinking of the motorcycle movement. But still, turning could be difficult. LT to call my horse. Hmm. Assault attacks cannot be used. We're gonna travel to camp on horseback in the moment. They won't let me go in the normal way, huh? Is there an event near the camp or something? Hmm. And also, what are these people doing in front of here? Oh, isn't that... Phoebe? Is it possible to talk to you on the horse? Hey there, are you guys headed over to the place the accident happened? Think you've got room for Lola and me? Uh, well there, miss. I mean, I don't know if it's okay. I don't really think they want reporters there, so... Trying to hitch a ride with some mechanics, huh? Maybe sure is tenacious. It will, it'll, it'll be troublesome if she drags us in, too. Let's go, instructor. No doubt. Oh, if we don't get an interview, I'm gonna get yelled at. Um, just hold on a second. Let me, just let me, let me ask my boss if it's okay. Uh, she's, she's turning out a lot like Grace. I'm ready, chief. Let's start right away. Okay, so I continue while she's on the horse. Let's see. Alright, girl. It's gonna be this active voice. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kurt! Faster! Faster! Stop getting so worked up. Please, don't let go. Yahoo! You don't have to force yourself to be as excited as Yuna. Hey, can I still break stuff? I guess not. That could be a bit of a flaw. Anyways, let's see. We have the advantage. It's only a single advantage. It's worthless. Well, that was a waste, and Green got hit with the CP slurp, so now he has no CP. All right, just gonna avoid encounters then, and see if there's any other active voices I need to worry about. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty fast. We have quick travel, so... Hmm. Re Class 1 returned to camp and reported the situation regarding the archaisms in the vicinity of St. Ark. Then they gathered information on the train accident that happened on the highway to the east.
to deliver all my quest items. Oh, Ash really likes that Hector. I didn't think there'd be Archaeisms walking around here. And that old guy is definitely not just some random dude. Yeah, he seemed easy going, but that just made him even more unpredictable. But since he destroyed those Archaeisms, I don't think he's from the society. I see. There's a chance those Archaeisms were set loose back during the Civil War, yeah? Yes, there are a few reports here and there about rogue Archaeisms. Because of that, it's still too early to determine that the society is involved here. We have two more reports in the Parm area, too. We should be on high alert. Yeah. Tell him about Shirley? By the way, where is Instructor Michael? Oh yeah, he's usually lecturing us right about now. Is he dealing with the derailing incident, perhaps? Yeah, actually, he said he was going to check the scene. It seems to have been caused by falling, a falling rock. Fortunately, there, were no, not, were, there weren't many injuries. I see, that's a relief. A derailing incident, huh? That happened in Crossbow before, too. Yeah, a lot of people got hurt pretty bad. Anyway, seems like Class 7's working hard. It certainly does. I'm glad to see you're all doing so well without having to rely on your instructor. Huh, you really think so? I suppose. Well, we've still got plenty of work ahead of us. If you compl compliment them too much, they'll get reckless, so try to keep it to in moderation, okay? Hey, don't treat us like we're a bunch of little kids. Your comment is unnecessary. We will not lower our guards for any reason. Instructor Reen's comment aside... I feel like I'm beginning to see just how and for what purpose Class 7 was created. What? Oh yeah? We're tasked with scouting the area around the camp and responding to requests from civilians. Though scouting for enemies and improving local opinion were given as the reasons, the true purpose is to have us perform tasks of Bracer Guild would otherwise do, correct? Everything comes down to Bracer copying. Whoa, now you mention it. The Bracer Guild. An organization devoted to maintaining peace and order for civilians across the continent. Though branches exist in the Empire, their operational ability is currently heavily limited. You're pretty sharp, Kurt. Hmm. Well, hearing all that shirk does give me a bit of deja vu. Yeah, back when I was in school, they had us do the same thing and called it Field Studies. I made the same connection you did, but I'm impressed you were able to do it right out of the gate like that. It's nothing special, I ha simply happened to know this. I can only assume the one who put together Class 7 was none other than Prince Oliver, the eldest prince in the, the Imperial family, one who has given up all claims to the throne. Well, he got that too. Well, it makes sense. The Vanders were responsible for guarding the prince, yeah? Ah, oh, so you knew about that, Instructor Randolph. It was my older brother Mueller, to be specific. I heard that His Highness has connections with some members of the Bracer Guild. So when Forest Main Campus was remade this year, his Highness created the branch campus in the new Class 7 as his final act before resigning. Am I wrong? No, that's right. Though I wasn't told these exact, those exact things, I can't imagine any of them are too far off the mark. I see, so that's what happened. Prince Oliver, I didn't know he, there was a person like that so high up in the Empire. Yeah, yes, he's a very honorable person. Though I suspect this may have been more of an act of self-satisfaction on his part. Um... Wait, but we're supposed to be learning from what Bracers do here, right? I don't know how things are in the Empire, but Bracers are heroes. I know that, of course, perhaps as well as you. But reality is another matter. Currently, most of the guild branches in the Empire have been shut closed down. As for those who support a guild, such as Prince Oliver and the Radiant Blade Master... They and everyone else who share the guild's ideals are powerless in the Empire right now. So if Class 7 is part of this powerless group of supporters, wouldn't you agree our being here is nothing more than the result of the Prince's self-satisfaction? Kurt. Hmm. I see, it seems you've had a lot on your mind ever since before you arrived at the Academy. Presenting the Kiseki problem, are you even making a difference? I've said it before and I'll say it again, you're certainly sharp, but isn't there one thing you're forgetting? What would that be? Regardless of His Highness's intent, Class 7 Special Ops missions are acknowledged from every size of the formal curriculum of the branch campus. The principals, Professor Schmidt, and the Imperial government were all involved in establishing the new Class 7. It's possible each of them only thinks of us as pawns. So it's possible the Prince's self-satisfying act was nothing more than the trigger for our being here. That's... 
Are you telling me it's even worse than I thought? I'm telling you not to make assumptions. There's always two sides to everything. You're smart, but you tend to overthink things. Think about everything you've done today. Why are you trying to cast such a negative light on, over your accomplishments? Uh, I agree with Instructor Reen, actually. Everything we did was worthwhile, and we were able to get some valuable information, so I don't think it was a waste. Perhaps it's still too early to come to a conclusion. I remain unconvinced, but I'll stop my complaints for now. Alright, wait, if it's my duty as a student of the branch campus, and as a vander, I shall give it my all. That should be fine for now. You probably don't want to be told this by me, but you need to find out what lies beyond that on your own. Understood. I'm still a little worried about you need joining Class 7, but it seems pretty interesting, the instructor included. You've got that right. I really need to buy all the fishing gear right now. Really sucks they locked us out of here for a lot of the chapter. Now that we've reported everything, let's get back to our special ops missions. Everyone ready? Ready. No need to ask us. Let's head to our second des destination, Parm. That said, I still have much to learn. I'm not even halfway to being skilled enough. From now on, I mustn't hold back at all. I must reset my way of thinking. Now you can use your S-Craft. Why does everyone have so much trouble getting to their S-Craft in the Cold Steel series? Even those absolute novices in the SSS started with S-Crafts. Hmm. The weaker unit members get SS plus for their multiplier. Okay. Who had fishing gear again? Just tell me what you need. Oh, not you. You're just normal items, mostly. It looks like I was right to bring along a few magazines just in case. A few exercises or not, taking a break is always important. It's hard to maintain morale without a few luxuries here and there. Do you borrow those magazines from Randy by any chance? Hey, Kurt. I'm so jealous you get to go out to the city. It's part of the few exercises. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. At least it's still a change of scenery. All I get to see is nature, nature, and more nature. Not to mention our lunch is bland since they base it off Imperial Army rations. Dang, I want to go home. Hold it together. Stark's really good at prepping supplies. He's made the field exercises camp like an oasis. Hmm. Oh shoot, are some of the shops in the Durflinger right now? Anyways, let's talk to some other students. Let's talk to these horses. I can't talk to them. Why? I guess it's because none of us can speak animal like Tio. Or Kia. Well, hello there, Class 7. Hello. Will you care to join us? Tatiana and I were discussing the tales of passionate young men we've been hooked on. Tales of what now? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, fortunately, we don't have time to chat. Unfortunately. Yeah, Kurt's right. We need to make it to the farm before it gets too late. He, that is unfortunate. Oh well, safe travels, everyone. Plus, someone always seems so busy. Hmm, it's a shame you can't stay and chat longer. I... I'll take a look! So, so many! Thank you very much! Here's a reward from the branch campus. Magic Droplet. Thanks, they're doing some great work here. No, I should be the one thanking you. In any case, please let me know if you find any more documents. Not enough for now, huh? Tale of unbridled passion between young men. I was a little uncertain at first, but the more I read, the more I just couldn't stop. I'm glad Musei understands me, at least. Hello, Yuna. It seems you guys are busy. Yeah, we're headed to Parm now. How are your guys' exercises going so far? Well, mine are certainly pushing my body to the limit. Mine make me think really hard. I need to have something sweet to recharge my poor brain. How about we have some tea back when, when we get back to leaves? Oh, and get some pancakes from Reset. I'm already looking forward to it. You appear to be quite busy, I'm, but I'm glad everything seems to be going well. Let's both do our best. You, Jessica and Yuna are so amazing. They fight ferocious monsters and pilot Panzer Soldats. I can't see myself doing that. 
Let's check. Wow, you got so many. Since you have over nine registrations, I'll give you a reward from the branch campus. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. I'll be looking forward to more reports. Problem is, I'm the type of person who uh, likes to save uh, uh, stat boosting items for the end game when I'm sure what my final party will look like. After all, what if I give them all to someone and then they leave the party forever? Wouldn't that suck? Hmm. Reen, has something happened? Yes, but we're still investigating it. Belmer, do you feel anything out of the ordinary? No, I haven't felt any shifts in the mana since last night. I shall be on alert. I recommend you do the same. Yes, I understood. Two shops. Tita, you need to go eat your lunch now. Oops, sorry about that. I, I lose track of time when I get absorbed in the project. That's fine, just don't forget that having a break and eating every so often is important. Here, I brought some sandwiches. Let's share them. Wow, that sounds great. Thanks, Sandy. Oh, how sweet of her. Yeah, yeah Sandy's great. Oh, you brought some seedlings. Yes, please take them. Herb seeds. Thank you. This is just a small thank you gift. Four to droplet times five. Thanks for giving this to us. No, no, I should be thanking you. Please give the good work. Did you need something? Oh, so now that... Now she'll solve this ingredient. Too bad I already bought a ton of my infinite Mira. <laughs> I recommend everything. Hmm. See you again. Tita is always straightforward and hardworking, but she's kind of clumsy too. Hey, she's like the stereotypical younger sister. Uh, how do I talk to Tita? Oh, sh oh there we go. Oh, um, thanks for lunch. This is really nice. I'll help. Got any more master courts? No. Maybe I should start having people equip the weaker master courts to level those up evenly. No. If I take too long to level up a master courts, it might get even harder in the long run. Actually, I don't think it matters. As long as you're not equipping a mastered out courts, I think you'll be fine for the most part. Hmm. Oof, class 7. Having fun riding around in your little adventures all morning? Hey, we're not just doing this for fun. That's right, going around foot and seeing all these places is an important part of our special ops missions. That's so. Sounds like fun to me. Hmm, are you interested in our missions? Well, you guys s s get to go wherever you want. Anyone stuck here at camp would be interested. You make it sound as though we're on vacation. I don't think he's going to listen to anything we have to say at this point. Maybe that's why he joined class 7. Our field exercises weren't bad, thanks to Randolph, but we didn't get to go anywhere. There's been something bouncing around in my skull since this morning. I gotta go check. Huh? What's he talking about? Take a shower because I need CP. One more t Might want to do that one more time at the other shower. Vending machine and no other person in the room. Hi, looks like you've made some wonderful progress in your fishing. Here, a gift for you from the Fisherman's Guild. An arm of the one that was caught three or more different kinds of fish. Double hook. An arm of the one that was caught six or more different kinds of fish. Whoa. This will help out a lot. Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> you bet. Wait, so what can I get you today? This is different from what I can get from here, huh? And they'll all stack, apparently. <laughs> Come again! Wait, do I even have bee larva right now? I don't think I do. I haven't spotted a single B, actually. Well, I do have exactly six. Increases the amount of time in the hooking section. Dual line. Let's your line of stand more. Double hook. Makes the hooking window a little slower. Gotta buy them all. You've got good taste! Now that I have this much money, it should be easy to buy everything. I am fully upgraded. Ah, give it a try! What can I get you today? Trade. Hmm. Ah, 
Ah, give it a try. You don't have all the ingredients. Bee larvae. They must be in the next area then. I asked Sandy to let me give her a little helping hand in the kitchen. If you'd like to try out some of my famous variety specials, please don't hesitate to ask. I understand how you feel, but field exercises have only just started. I think you need to lighten up a little. Why is Ash always stirring up trouble? And Sydney, he's never serious enough. Um, I guess training out in the boonies like this ain't so bad. Out here, we can totally go, go totally ham with the Panzer Soldats if we want. Things are more challenging than expected, but th that just makes the training all the better. Each and every student in military finance feels responsible for this. In fact, all of our students are working hard. We're lucky to have such good kids here. Which makes it all the more important for us to instructors to lead by example. I couldn't have said it better myself. Toa may be small in stature, but she's such a big presence, and her heart's even bigger. It's been a month already, and you're still acting the same. You like being by yourself that much? Not really, but there's no rule that says I have to spend my lunch with anyone. Yeah, true enough, but it's more fun eating with other people. It makes the food taste better too. We don't get much to, to, we don't get too much break time. We should just spend it unwinding and chatting with others. Unwinding, huh? I guess you've got a point. Huh, right? I'll take a look then. Doesn't look like you have enough data, really? If I killed quite a lot of enemies. Do I have to fully scan them too, or just uh, uh, see them once? Why bar going out of your way to talk to me of all people? Hmm, she really is a strange one, that Leonora. That's probably as close as the smile Valerie's gonna get for now. But I'm glad I got the chance to see it anyway. Combat career. Info registered only 27. Did I miss one? Hmm. Oh, I didn't fully scan this one. This one's a pretty rare one. Maybe I should go back and do so. Should I put this medication here? Yes, please. I wouldn't have guessed you knew so much about medicine. Are you studying a to be a doctor? Oh, it's nothing like that. It's just when I was little, I was sick a lot of the time. I wanted to figure out why, so I studied a bit of medicine here and there. To be honest, I would prefer to do something more manly, though. Manly? Like what? You know, like doing heavy lifting or something. You've got a pretty simple definition of manly. Oh, class 7, you're back. Do you get hurt? If you need medicine or treatment, just let me know. The feel, that feeling of desiring something you lack isn't entirely foreign to me, but I don't know. I'm just worried about Kyrie. Okay, one more shower. Because Reen needs to top out his CP. Okay, then I'll probably go look for. Uh, uh, go back to the forest if they'll let me. I'm not sure they will. This game is pretty restrictive on where you can go a lot of the times. The main control unit of the Durflinger is honestly stun stunning. I wonder if it'll let me drive it on the way back. Or, uh, er, cannot resist. Just a wee touch. Just be careful. Don't start an accident. <laughs> Thanks! Hmm. Can't seem to teleport to other places yet, so let's go outside. Maybe there'll be a scene. We'll need to head south for Parm. Just to let you know, the trek is a little longer than St. Arcs. But once we pass the bridge with the railway tracks along it, it'll be right there. Speaking of, I wonder what, what happened with that derailed train. I presume there's been some progress over after over an hour. It wouldn't be a bad idea to check out to check and see how it's going. Alright, let's go. I can't go back to these places then. Hmm. Then I better go back to the Great Forest and go grind a bit, huh? Let's see what Ragna strikes like. And this hit everyone looks like a can. Behold the dual blades of Vander. Now, ah! I lend it. Ha! Ragna, strike! 
So he's finishing off of Reen with and therefore he's getting Sephith. I shall go. Oh wait, I still have a chance to finish off of Reen. Brionac, activate! Fire! Now! It's mine! Okay, let's get some Sepe. My blade. Okay, caved in got and used up the first Sepe DLC. Hopefully I don't regret it. Okay, there's a chest over there. Can I grab it while I'm on the horse? Yes, I can. Okay, no sense in fighting these guys. They don't really drop anything. And if I did, they'd start a Link encounter, even on the horse. Okay, there are some new enemies here, I think. I should probably go fight them on foot. Stork. Feather guest. Ah, uh, strike! There, Yuna. Okay. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. It's my turn. Hmm. Yeah. Now, it's mine. This is the end. Here I go. Okay, stay where you are, scan them. Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. All right! Hmm. Earth and wind resistance. What a bad coincidence. This will just whack you with my tanfa. Yeah, this horse doesn't even get to do anything, huh? Because I have to ambush all the enemies properly. Okay, there seems to be something happening up ahead. Whoa, it totally has been derailed. Let's ask Major Michael about it since he's down there. Is this an act of sabotage or uh, again? Hmm. Whoa, baby! How did you get here so fast? Hey, I hitched a ride with an engineer. But that old man there wouldn't let me through. Or I heard a scoop calling my name too. Okay, sell down. The old jerk won't let me through. I just know there's a story out there waiting to be scooped. You're students of the Forest Branch campus. Alright then, you can pass. But Vivi cannot. Oh well. There was a red event here, that means it's mandatory. Hey, that car! It's one of the Railway Military Police's special operation vehicles. There's the derailed train. The maintenance train car is here as well. Damage seems minimal. Oh, our horses teleported in for the cutscene. Ah, oh, it's you. Yes, we're on our way to Parm. But we were worried, so we came to check on what happened. Can we get a briefing on the accident here? Very well, come down here. Today at 11.52 AM, the train was derailed by this fallen rock. Well, fortunately, the rock wasn't too big to begin with, and since it broke up into smaller pieces upon landing, damage to the train was minimal. There were a few injuries, and all of them light. Treatment has already been completed. We've investigated the site thoroughly, but found no traces of anything such as explosives. Between that and the engineer's testimony, we can assume it was a landslide due to natural causes. Assume, you're, so you're not certain then? 
Is there something you find suspicious about the accident? It's just a figure of speech. Because the rock broke into so many pieces, we are, are unable to determine the state of the scene before the accident. In any event, maintenance of the engine has been completed, so normal operation will resume shortly. I see. The timing still seems pretty suspicious, though. If the damage is only slight, it may have j just been a coincidence. By the way, there weren't any unidentified metal pieces found nearby, were there? Hmm, I already, I've already been informed. Arcade is themselves inside, correct? Yes, and not just them. There have been a number of suspicious individuals sighted nearby recently, too. Do you think there was any chance that an archaism was the cause of this? My subordinates found no traces of them in their search of the area. If there was a possibility... Michael speaking. Oh, it's you, Rebelt. What? Instructor Claire? Yeah, Schwarzer and Yaris have just arrived on the scene. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Video communication. Hello, everyone. So there really were archaisms in the area, then? Yes, we fought some. As they were not the latest models, it's hard to determine whether the society is involved or not at this point. We still need to investigate the other two locations they were sighted at. Well, now you confirm their presence, please be careful. I've been informed of the derailment as well. Just as a precaution, I'm hangover. That will not be necessary. Huh? The situation is under control. There's no need for you to remain here as well. We've, we're receiving backup from the intelligence division. Return to Heimdall's plant. But, listen to me. You're not just part of the railway military police. You have direct orders from the Chancellor to return. The Chancellor? That's... Understood. Please see to the rest, Ranger. Reen, Yuna, Altina, Kurt. Please be careful. I'll be praying for the branch campus's success. I hope your missions go smoothly. Instructor Claire. Thank you. You be careful, too. Ah. Seems she has a more pressing mission. Indeed, one more one important enough to take precedence over everything going on here. <laughs> it's simply a matter of the RMP's priorities. They got it back on track, literally. Major, all repairs are complete. Resume operation. I will now return to the field exercise grounds. Class 7 special operations. Proceed to Parm. Jeez, what's with that hard ass? He was rude to us, and he was rude to Instructor Claire. Well, I don't like his rare for a military man like him to be so curt and direct. That said, his conversation with Major Claire seemed strange. He mentioned backup from the Intelligence Division. He didn't mean you, did he? No, not this instance. Judging from the situation here, it seems many things are in motion. Yeah, seems so. Well, for now, let's head up, head up arm. We still need to investigate those two remaining locations. You got it. Let's go. Hmm, there's a rhinoceros up ahead. Is it the same kind as before, or is it a different one? What? A cutscene? <laughs> oh no. Well, well. Seems like some annoying flies started buzzing around. And it's such an important time, too. It's been a year and a half. Black Rabbit's changed a bit, but he looks completely different. I guess it's not surprising for a boy his age. He has a long way to go, though. <laughs> what are you so happy about? I... I am not happy! <laughs> I had a feeling when we ran into each other earlier. Seems like he might be even stronger than I've heard. I wonder who's stronger, him or Dolphy? I'm getting kind of excited just thinking about it. The Red Reaper. He is certainly impressive. But either way, none of them are a match for us. Not even her. We might as well leave them be. They'll serve as a nice little distraction for us. 
That's all well and good, but... Can I just have a little taste? Mm. Ugh, you enforcers. Listen up! We're finally about to restart the big plan we've been working towards this whole time. I heard you're working directly under the third anguis, so why don't you take this a little more seriously? Come on! Let's just have some fun while we've got the chance. What? Ah! What? what are you? So much for Jubilee the Swift. You think she would have dodged that? Hmm. I guess the armor makes them Shirley is swifter. Tall, but they're actually about as big as Lady Bell's. They don't quite stack up to what your two friends have been blessed with, but I still like them just fine. <laughs> hey! Quit messing around! Cut it out! <sighs> this girl is out of control! Strange she spared Yuna from the same fate. Mother! No! My lord! <sighs> All right then. Think I'll make my grand return to the Empire as flashy as possible. Even her own side mistreats her that Seems bad, like huh? I certainly won't be wanting for opponents. If I'm lucky, I might even draw out a surprise guest or two. I wonder if we can just head back there and see if they're still on the ledge. No. Okay. That rhinoceros. Is it? And there's a big. There's some kind of big insect there. It looks kind of like Pictomos. Okay. Oh, treasure chest. There was a large, gr uh, there was a huge mantis mob defending this chest, but I managed to get through it. Yeah, locked and loaded. Unfortunately, I had to use Reen's S craft because of their huge numbers. But oh well, at least I got some decent sepif out of it. Hmm. Okay, let's see where else can I explore. Okay, there's a pretty tough enemy guarding this area. Had two rhinoceros and a bunch of those mantises. And it looks like there's an archaism here. I guess it's implying that they destroy those monsters ganged up on the archaism. Hmm. Do I have all the items here? Not quite. There's another one that was guarded. Cha! Fishing bait times eight. Hmm. I don't think there's any more things I need to get here. Maybe I should just hop on my horse and call it good. Now let's go. Okay, let's see. Yep, just a straight shot to Parm. Hmm. Wait, I better save because once I enter, it's possible it'll never let me back into the camp. Which is really inconvenient because no one else sells the, uh, stuff like what Freddy sells. I have to farm you material if I want to get more fishing bait, too. The Spinning Town. Wow! What a beautiful town! Parm, the spinning town. The southernmost town of the Empire. This is my first time here too, but it's just as breathtaking as I was told.
This is the place Group B visited for their first field study. <clears throat> <laughs> you said you lived here till you were 10, right? Does seeing it again bring back any memories? Yeah. There are some old acquaintances here too. But more importantly, should we look for those monsters? No, there are requests we need to take care of, so let's look around town first. We might be able to get some info on the archaisms and the derailing incident while we're at it. Kurt, can you guide us? Yes, of course. What? Are you embarrassed to see those old acquaintances of yours again? You said your family's training hall is here too, correct? Not anymore. The Parm training hall was closed at the end of last year. That said, someone may still be there, so I'd like to stop by at some point. Oh, I see. Hmm, closed? Well, for now, Kurt, I'll leave this to you. So, just tell us where we should head. Understood. Let's be off. Perhaps we should head to the general store and inn. There are many talented artisans here, and the inn seems like a prime place to gather information. Got it. Which way is the training hall, though? Oh. Cross that waterway and it's right before the old road. I don't think anyone would be there at this time of day, though, so we can hold it off until later. I'll write a memo so we don't forget. Alright, let's get going. Oh, I can go back to camp if I need to. Good. These patterns are so cute! I'm gonna snap some pics with my Arcus so I can show everyone later! Let's see. I'm supposed to be a new challenger in town, too. Yes, I see. I love the water wheels all over the place. It makes Parm feel so quaint. Are they still in regular operation? Yeah, they power all the spinners. <laughs> Hearing them makes me feel like I really am home again. Hey, Kurt. It's re it really is you, Kurt. Wow, you got super pretty. Hello, you two. It's been quite some time. Perhaps you could stop telling me how pretty I am every time we meet. Oh, hey, let's all climb a tree together. I'm gonna climb all the way to the top and cannonball into the river. Yeah, me too. Let's play. Calm down, you guys. You need to make sure you've got an adult nearby if you're going to be jumping off. Yay! They're certainly energetic, aren't they? Yeah, they're like this every time I come to visit the training hall. Now, he don't say. They're just like my brother and sister. Hey, Kurt, do you know Vantage Masters? Oh, that card game that's been getting popular lately. I've heard of it, but I haven't played before. Aw. Uh, well, how about playing me instead? How you know how to play? Okay, you're on. Okay, time to beat this small child at a card game. I have to have exactly 20. Yeah, and Yu-Gi-Oh, a lot- some people will put the minimum number of cards in their deck to ensure that they don't overfill and, and lower their odds of getting the cards they want. Hmm. Sister? The healing type, but it's not very good for offense. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna need transmute at the start of this, am I? Hmm. This looks slightly more balanced. Wow, that is a lot of magic crystals right off the bat for me. Ten. 
Tech you. Tech sister. Transmute. I wonder if I'll need it at some point. Enemy turn. Okay, I'll move the ranger back there to the crystal later. Oh no. Enemy back there it looks like it'll be tough to deal with. Okay. End turn. Sells a lot of cards, I'm worried. Oh no, she has that uh, 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 flying type. Well, at least I managed to draw my own card. Ow! Using the blitz ability to get around my back row. Crap, not enough. If I got all my stuff set up, I should be able to end this pretty quickly. Assuming- Oh no, that's right, Raku could attack Blix. Um... Oh, okay, that's right, Raku was just summoned recently, yep. Time to end this. Zamil pen. Okay, there should be a gift item for Milliam. Yep, use this whenever I want. I should send Milliam a gift, telepathically. Hmm, I hope she'll like it. Or through snail mail. Hmm. Okay, the inn. Nothing upstairs. Huh, aren't you? Long time no see, Bertrand. Kurt, what a surprise. Bertrand. Once I saw those strange clothes, I started thinking some more wackos had showed up. Oh, these are our uniforms. I enrolled into a military academy, you see. What about these wackos? Wait, you said more. What are others? Well, I suppose they weren't all sh that, that strange themselves, but... The two young ladies certainly couldn't have looked any more out of place. The woman was dressed like some old-fashioned knight, and the air was wearing all black leather. That is quite the contrast. 
Wait, all black leather? Wasn't that redhead we met dressed like that too? I'm pretty sure it was the same person. I don't think too many people travel around looking like that. Maybe she was in Parm too. Instructor? Oh, it's nothing. I guess we just need to be careful. Remember, we also have to, t t to have that intel from BB to take into account. That's right. She me she mentioned some strange characters wandering around. Huh? What's up? Oh, it's uh, no big deal. I'm Kurt's instructor. If you happen to see anything strange again, please let us know. Oh, sure thing. You'll be the first to know. Pl take care of Kurt for me, will you, instructor? Memorize. Hmm. This appears to be a textiles workshop. That's right, they also offer tailoring services. And they sell everyday items too. I suppose it's more of a general store. Welcome. Oh, I didn't know you were back. Oh, hey, Kurt. It's been a while. It's nice to see that even after leaving from, for the capital, you still make time to come back every once in a while. Huh, yes. Well, the training hall is here after all. I was wondering, though. Has anything unusual happened here recently? Unusual? Well, yes, actually. Oh, what is it? What is it? You could say we've taken it astray. Accident prone apprentice engineer. She goes around helping everybody out. When she first arrived, she collapsed from hunger. Engineer? Yep, no, no, that was a shocker. As we were taking care of her, the loom caught her attention. She, we told her it had been acting up, and she was more than happy to fix it for us. Hmm, I see. She sounds intriguing, to say the least. Hmm. That said, she did mention seeing something peculiar. Oh, that's right. What was it again? Is mint? Is that. Are, are you talking about mint? She said she saw on the highway. I see, now I'm kind of curious. So where is this engineer now? Oh, probably walking around fixing things up here and there. She did say she'd be at the church for most of the morning. Then she may still be there. Let's, let's head out. Thank you for your help. Uh, Gaha, don't worry about it. If you have time later, stop by again, okay? She mentioned seeing something peculiar, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Why don't you try asking her in person? Hanji. Oh, it increases speed, and this one actually increases evasion. I wonder if it'd be worth it. Even if it has lower defense values, it might be better in some ways. Hmm. Hmm, what about this private home? That sounds suspicious. Many of the artisans around here are rare hot-headed, but my husband is the worst of the bunch. He's always been like that. I'm sorry if it was rude to you. Well, the best way to punish him is to let him cook for himself. I didn't talk to your husband yet, but I'm you might as well punish him anyways. Oof, I can't let old man Galart win every year. This is my life's passion, after all. It's high time I bring out my secret weapon. What the? Who are you people? Hey, get out of the way. I think he would recognize Kurt or something. Hmm. Manager's residence. Oh, Kurt, is that you? You've gotten so big. It's good to see you again. You haven't changed a bit. At my age, we don't really change that much. My wife would have loved to see you too, but she's out of town helping a relative. The time of year is always busy. Oh yes, it's silkworm harvesting season, isn't it? I'll let her know that you stopped by. I can't offer much to the rest of you, but please make yourself at home. Thank you. Oh, hello, you must be the military students. Huh, <laughs> you actually came... Wait, is that you, Kurt? Yes, it's good to see you again, Reggie. I started attending Forest Branch campus this year. Really now, talk about a chance meeting then. It's been like seven years since we last spoke. You've gotten so big. Oh, you two know each other? Yeah, so I overlooked that detail when I read over the request. You were still an apprentice back then. I assume you're close to graduating from that title. Yes, it's been ten years since I became Master Galar's apprentice. This will be the year. In order to be recognized in part, you have to participate in the Spring Die Festival. You get a passing score, then boom, you're a full-fledged artisan. 
The Spring Dye Festival. I believe it's an event where the dye artisans compete for the most beautifully dyed piece of cloth. Yes, the artisans take it very seriously, and it's perhaps the most important traditional event in Parm. That explains why the request was to get our materials for dyes as soon as possible. Exactly. I'm looking for just the right ingredients for my spring dye. I may be inexperienced, but I want to put out the best work I possibly can. This is my chance to pull out all the stops. Will you help me? Yes, of course. Please let us help you. What a relief. Thanks, guys. I'm looking for free ingredients. First is a lowest stone. When mixed correctly, it makes dye with a go nice golden hue. You should be able to find a big deposit along Old Agria Road. A golden hue, huh? I'd sure like to see that. Old Agria Road. I'll make note of that. Next, I'll need Rainbow Rubia. It's a rare plant. They're hard to come by, but I heard they sell them at some of the bigger markets out there. I see. The ones at St. Ark should fit the build in that case. Instructor, would it be alright for us to head back there to find one? We have no- we have horses, so it should be fine as long as we don't take too long. The last ingredient is Sepif. I want 50 of each type. Earth, water, fire, and wind. You're going to use Sepif? That's right, I'm going to grind it into the mix. I'm hoping it'll, it gives the resulting cloth a nice sheen. Hmm, how very interesting. Wait, I thought that Sepif attracts monsters. Yeah, it really does sound like a sight to behold. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all turns out, Reggie. Same here, I'm actually getting pretty pumped over this, this uh, uh, all of a sudden. I'm glad to hear it. I'll need those ingredients first, though. Sorry, I know I'm asking a lot from you guys. Not an issue. We'll commence scattering immediately. We'll be going out on the highway. We'll have to make sure we're prepared. Prepare to die. <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to... ...be in the department store... Excuse me, I have a question. They asked the store if they had Rainbow Rubia. Rainbow Rubia, yes, we have those. We don't get many requests for them, so we don't keep them on the shelves. But every so often someone comes by looking for some. They can actually be used for some medicinal purposes. Oh, huh, I didn't know that. They're used to they're used to lower fevers and stop bleeding. They're actually pretty common in traditional medicine. Oh, I didn't know you knew that. You're fond of knowledge as always, instructor. Huh. Please wait a moment. I'll bring one to you right away. 100 Mira. Rainbow Rubia. Okay. Surprised to hear the news about the railway accident. Hmm. Just hoping she'd comment more about the side quest. Next is Chapel, so I can meet Mint. See what she's up to. Oh, so this is what Parm's Chapel is like. It should be the same size as the one leaves, yet it feels smaller. Likely because we've just been to the enormous St. Art Cathedral. According to the tailor, the person we're looking for should be here. Hmm? Alrighty, I swapped him out. He should be all set for a while now. Oh my, thank you so much. You must be very skilled to have finished that so quickly. Well, not really. Uh, I mean, you're darn right. <laughs> ah, Mitten, is that you? Ah, uh, Reen? Are you all right? Uh, seems you're clumsy as always. Erm... Um, do you know her? Yeah, she's one of my old schoolmates. We're, we're in different classes, though. I never expected to run to you here, of all places. Good to see you again, Mint. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm happy to see you again, too. So these are your students, huh? They don't look too shabby. I'll be rooting for you guys as a former fellow forest student. Keep on going to full throttle and give it your all. Heh, <laughs> uh, thanks. Another former member of Forest, so I never met her directly. How do I put this? You have a lot of connections. 
and I'm grateful for it. Anyway, looks like your technician training is going well. You're going to uh, around visiting factories and craftsmen in different parts of the Empire, right? Exacto Mundo. I just arrived here in Severland a few, little while ago. Oh yeah, did you see, Reen? All those weaving machines they use here? They're all powered by those wire mills. I could learn a lot from that kind of functional beauty. Well, it seems you've settled into your new field just fine. By the way, I heard something earlier from someone at the general store. You're the one who saw something strange around here recently, right? Huh? Ooh, you mean that one thing? Yeah, I definitely saw something strange. Alright, can you give us any more details? We're actually in the middle of an investigation right now. They told her about the investigation of unidentified monsters. Oh, I see, so that's what you guys are doing. So what exactly do you see and where? Um, so it was the, at this place called Old Agria Road East up here. I saw it when I went to fix one of the orbital lamps out there. There were three shadows I had never seen before flying towards the plateau. Flying? Were they archaisms? I'm sure you saw one or two during the Civil War. I'm not sure, they were pretty far away so it was hard to tell. And since I was staring at them, I ended up dropping all the parts I was carrying and started to panic. I see. Oh, I gotta head back to the Orwell factory soon. See you around, Reen. Thanks, Mint. You were a big help. Good luck with your training. Yeah, you guys too. If you guys ever need anything, come visit me at the Orwell factory. What do you think? Mysterious Flying Shadows. That makes me think of your Clam Solias. If there were three of them, it's unlikely they're combat shells. I received no notification of Million being here either. Yeah, we should consider the possibility the shadows were something else. I'm not really sure what's going on. But it seems like we've got a good lead. Yeah, we should go investigate this old Agria Road place. Mint's been a great help to us. That says she worries me as much as she helps, huh? Mint often takes it upon herself to visit the nearby villages to repair things. She truly is a generous soul, isn't she? Though she does get into quite a bit of trouble, such as getting lost or accidentally stepping on a cow's tail. Okay, the final area. We have to go to the... Dojo. This might be a good spot for fish... Not right now, Reen. So this is it. Yes, the Vander Training Hall. It brings back memories. This is where I lived when I was younger. Oh, you don't say. But isn't the Vander style pretty famous in the Empire? I would have guessed it had a lot of students, so why did this training hall close? Well, times are simply changing. Huh? Come think of it, the Vander family. Hi well, it sounds like someone's still in there. Yes, I might know them. But this is... Ha! For a closed training hall, it's pretty loud. Sorry, can we take a look inside? Of course, I'd certainly like to meet someone so enthusiastic about their training. Here I go! Come on, your guard is wide open! Whoa, this is my first time in the training hall. There aren't too many students here, but they're all so focused. Yeah, it's almost infectious. Just what is going on around here? My idea so isn't Master Kurt. It's nice to see you, Walton. Have you been well? And you know that Kurt's just... Uh, just Kurt is fine. Uh, of course, of course, don't mind me. Well, I haven't seen you since we were in the capital. When you get here, I'd have met you by the entrance if I knew. Oh, well, I'm just here as part of my studies. Is that so? Is that the same for your friend's son? Excuse me, I should have introduced us sooner. Reen and his students introduced themselves. Field exercises, huh? And I think we just happened to be one of your stops. How, so how do you luck out with the Ashen Chevalier as your instructor? Not to mention having these adorable young ladies as your classmates. Oh, stop that. We're not that adorable. I believe he was just making polite conversation. Come on, Ali, let a girl dream. And it's an honor to witness the teachings of the Vander School. Walton, can I ask what happened? I thought this branch closed down around the end of the year. It did, but it's been reopened for a limited time as of last week. 
Master Matthias introduced a temporary instructor. Really? H who? Is this someone I know? I'm almost positive it is, so she's out at the moment. She's young with her skull but blaze incredible. The place has been riding from inside out since shutting its doors, but she's breathed new life back into it again. She must be quite the instructor. Now who could that be? Walton, do you think we could... Kurt, when you get here? Look at you, Master Kurt, you're all grown up. Uh, hello, Rafi, Katja. It's nice to see you guys. Kurt then spent some time with familiar faces from his childhood. After being offered something to drink, he said his goodbyes and allowed them to resume their training. They have so much energy. Well, I'm sure they're excited to be doing this after a long break. Guess things are looking up then, huh, Kurt? Yeah, I'm pretty relieved myself. Oh, I forgot to ask who this temporary instructor of theirs is. We can always check in the hall once they're back. We have plenty of work ahead of us in the meantime. That's true. I didn't mean to keep up some of our exercises. Let's get going. I'm ready to go. Alright, I think we've asked around enough. We've got some useful information. How do you guys want to proceed? Well, the thing that sticks out most is what Mint told us. Free flying shadows. They believe the odds are high they are targets. Old Agria Road, east of town. Few ever venture out that way. Seems we decided on our next location to investigate then. Yeah, no objections here. However, we don't know what's waiting for us out there. We'd better make sure we're well prepared before we head out. Of course. He still he can still freely teleport. I wasn't expecting to see you here while you were in school. That uniform looks sharp on you. Heh, <laughs> thanks. But I didn't choose the branch campus just for a nice uniform. I know, I think I've got an idea why. You're a funny one, Kurt. I won't cry for now, but I'm here if you need to talk, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I wonder what's up with Kurt. Hey, yeah, ha! Katja's been improving like crazy. There's no way I can keep up with her anymore. Wait, no, I'm older than her. I've got to beat her at least once. It's been a pleasure meeting you. I hope there's a chance to learn more from you in the future. I'd like to train with you again, too, you know. You've grown by leaps and bounds, Katja. You might catch up to me if I'm not careful. Oh, please, I've still got a ways to go. And say, Kurt, it's one thing to look up to your dad and brother, but it's another to put them on a pedestal. Don't compare yourself to them, okay? It's not fair to you or them. Right, no, but it's always good to have you remind me. Hmm. Old Agria. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.